you've got works by Picasso, Matisse, Chagall, but at the same time, you've got fun things. So you've got to have a bit of fun with it too. The big things have got to breathe, hence the moustache over our front door. I assumed that much of the collection would be the costumes and the textiles. I didn't realize how careful a collector he was, how buying beautiful things, they often had to have a story. Everything had to have um, you know, a background. It had to speak to him on many different levels. Come into the exhibition, put your um, iPhone on, your ear pods in, find the tune and play it and just follow those lyrics with your finger through the, through the case. And it's, it's quite amazing because you can see the emphasis he's placing on particular words where he's underlined something. Freddie is a collector of note in his own right in so many fields that we sell. So Japanese art, I think there'll be serious collectors who recognize that there's a standalone pictures and prints and bits of lacquer and porcelain in their own right. But I hope fans come in as well. You don't have to buy something, but just come and see our exhibition. It is glorious. And estimates start, I think the cheapest thing's 20 pounds and they go up to 2 million pounds. So there's something for everyone, from every department and from every aspect of Freddie's life.